So in honor of the one year video birthday, I decided that I was gonna film a cute office room tour kind of thing. This is the room that I film all my videos in and that I edit and it's where my computer and everything is. So I wanted to show you guys around, especially since I just did my closet tour, kind of keep them both together so you guys get to see the whole shebang. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna step into the middle of the room and then turn this way. Okay, so that's the door. I just got a couple prints on the back of it from conventions and my old job and a Reptar poster. And then a Ollivander's wand bag from um, Universal Studios Orlando. It's there because I'm doing a project. Um, to the right of the door is the closet. You guys have already seen it, so I'm not gonna like go into detail. Um, I just bought a new hook for over this door because things were getting out of hand. And then I have some storage boxes down here that I'll show you guys what's in that in a second. And then to the corner side is my mirror and little Bun Bun who guards the closet. And then this little table that I painted when I first started making videos. So on it, I just have the pin board that I did the DIY of, a little crown that a stone popped off, so I'm trying to, need to fix it, and then a bunch of prints from Disney. These are all postcard prints, um, and I like to hang them up like that in frames, but I've moved, it's me, all cozy. I've moved a bunch of stuff around, and so I took up everything down, and I'm trying to figure out where to hang them now, so. Next, I'm gonna back up into the closet, okay. So to the left of the door is my desk. So this is what we got. I'm thinking of hanging like the prints up here maybe or over here in that empty space. Oh, over there would be really cute. Okay, that's where they're going. I know what's happening next, okay. <laughs> so I have a really long desk. My husband got it for me for Christmas this past year and I split it up in half. So this half, is used for like crafts anything that I'm working on at the time it's all over here this little thing needs to be painted white but I keep art supplies in it and then under that since my chair just rolls back and forth between the two under it I keep anything that I'm holding for a future video so any hauls that I'm planning on doing as stuff comes in I'll keep them over there and things like that so they all just stay right there this container, I keep a bunch of makeup and things in. This half of my desk, this is where I edit videos, it's where my computer is, and it's where I do my makeup. And then, of course, there's collectibles and things scattered everywhere. And then I have a little display over there that is nowhere near anywhere what I want it to look like. It's just chaos, but anyways. And then to the left of that is what you guys see, the filming area. The floor is covered in confetti. Words. The floor is covered in confetti from the birthday party. And then this is my window. It's actually a sliding glass door. It goes out into a patio that connects to all the other apartments. Um, I keep it locked at all times. It freaks me out. Uh, I also shove all of my light boxes against it and my tripod. I have it set up in case I ever need an another filming space. I just like having options just in case. So, you know, I've always got this area for filming. If I needed something different, I'd have this. When I do like try-ons, I'm gonna start doing it in front of my closet. Ignore the mess. I'm really bad at putting stuff back where they go. But that's the general overview. So I'm gonna take you guys in and just show you like all the little things in the drawers and stuff. But we're gonna start with the heart boxes right here. Cause it's really the only thing on this whole side that you guys have not seen yet. So. In here, this is a, just a fluffy pillow. This heart box has like masks and stuff. So like lip masks, face masks, hair masks, anything like that for like self care. That's all in there. That's all that's in there. And then this box, this has snacks in it. Oh, I forgot those cookies were in here, okay. <laughs> This has snacks in it in case I'm ever hungry or anyone comes over and they want something. There's a bunch of that. 
um, candy that I got from the Japan Pavilion in Disney still in here because some of it I just can't, I just can't. Um, and then I do have a snowball mic and a webcam in there from when I was doing Sims videos. And I wanted to, I wanted to start live streaming like everyone does, but, um, I don't think my internet can support it. I don't know. So that's in there until I decide I want to try that again. And then the one on the bottom is just like art supplies again. So there's a bunch of paints in there. These are some roses that are left over from some sunflowers. I cut, I cut off of them for a project. Um, ribbons, random ribbons, elastics, pretty much just randomness is in there. And so that just sits on the bottom. I don't want to throw it away, like the roses away, even though, I mean, when I bought them, I knew I wasn't gonna use the roses. I bought it for the sunflowers, but I didn't want to throw it away because I'm sure eventually I could use the roses for something. And so, oh, this is hard to do with one hand. And so I just shove them in there until the day comes and I need them instead of just wasting them and throwing them away. So that's all that's in there. And then bag stand future video sneak peek so on the desk right now this says make a wish I don't like how dark the blue glitter is so I want to go over it with a different color glitter <laughs> the reason I wanted sunflowers and the reason I'm customizing a wand is because I wanted to make a Harry Potter TikTok video and so <laughs> that's what that's from those are my Prismacolor color pencils and then some things that I just sit over here that are waiting for to be customized. Any future project stuff is over here. So those Dolls Kills accessories I told you guys I was going to customize, they're over here. A birthday hat I want to customize because my husband's birthday is coming up and it's always good to have a cute birthday hat on hand. The Mickey Mouse thing I got from Disney World I've started to customize with the light blue. I just keep getting distracted. I have the cute 100 uh, subscriber birthday candles I got. I wanted to customize them, but then I took pictures of them and now I don't want to because my next picture, whenever I get to another milestone, is going to be different. It's going to bother me. <laughs> That's just a matte clear coat sealant that I use on literally everything. And then this is a picture frame I bought a couple years ago that I want to paint cute pastel colors. My best friend and I, we both have tattoos on our hips. They're like best friend tattoos that are a unicorn carousel like this and they say ride or die. So I want to put a picture of us in this once I paint it. I've just been procrastinating. That's the bane of my existence. Literally, I procrastinate everything. If I can, okay. Okay. And then this has art supplies in it. So Mod Podge gold paint for the wand. I don't know why I'm using gold. Um, a little button. This has a bunch of pens in it and like the wands that I use in my hair when I do a bun. And then just a little Animal Crossing figure from the Amiibos that I never used, but I have her because she's adorable. Top drawer, you've got some star beads, some elastics, and then some pretty like iridescent beads. Those are all for the wand. Next drawer sunflowers so cute I'm doing a Hufflepuff Harry Potter TikTok video that's why everything's yellow and black those are also for that video and this is just some ribbons those are Swarovski crystals that I got for an art project I keep them in here because they were expensive and I don't want to lose them and then cute tags that I cannot bring myself to get rid of and I just keep them forever because I have a problem goes back there so on top of this this is where I keep all of my makeup and then on top we have the Winnie the Pooh Sakura edition from Disney Japan um, he came out a couple years ago he's really getting dirty from dust I need to clean him soon that's the Sanrio um, my Melody Sailor Moon collab Luna she's adorable I have an ornament that my best friend in college got me before we moved to Disney. We were both in the college program together. It lights up and makes sounds. Um, there, I was like, there's a button somewhere. It's cute. 
it's loud, but um, when she gave it to me, I cried. So we've got Ace. This is gonna be loud. I'll wait. You good? Okay. So this is a Star vs. the Forces of Evil button. I got it from Hot Topic. She is literally my favorite of ever that has ever existed. <sighs> Best magical girl ever. I love her. And then um, this is an Aurora doll. It's the only one I've ever found. I love this toy line because they're so cute, but it's the only one I've ever found where she even had a bit of blue on her dress, so I bought it. You guys know how I feel about that. This I bought last year at MechaCon. It just holds a bunch of pins and pin backs from my pin board. Well, I'll show you. There's a little Shrek. And then this one says Magical Girl on it. And then those are gummy bear earrings. So not really pins, just more like random things that I have nowhere else to put. This is my makeup mirror. It's dirty with makeup. But behind it... There is a Cinderella, she's my other favorite princess. Luna is holding a pin, it falls a lot. It says, many puns later from SpongeBob. That is a spring Pikachu from like five years ago with a flower crown and it's more of a pastel colorway. So cute. This year they released an Eevee that I really wanted, I just haven't gotten it yet. And then this is a little narwhal that is squishy. I have squishy things like this everywhere around me for when I have like anxiety and stuff, it helps calms me down. And then this is just one of those bow headband things that you use to push your hair back if you're washing your face or if I'm doing my makeups, so anything like that. Mirror, okay. Chair, this is just a really cute Valentine's Day blanket. I got it like Marshalls and a bear that my husband's parents sent me with a flower arrangement on my birthday. I'll do that when we're done with the desk. <laughs> There's nothing special down there, I promise. Okay, I'm playing The Sims. <laughs> Mid-playing, I was like, I'm just gonna film this video. I've been putting it off forever. Okay, so this is a garland that I got from Target. They still sell it. Um, it's with their like unicorn birthday stuff. They've had it for years. I got it when I was in Colorado um, and they started carrying it at the one that I live at now last year. It just says you are magical with little holographic stars. It's really cute. And then on the wall, Neon Heart. These are Pokemon cards from Japan. They came out a couple of years ago. They're like this super cute edition version. I don't know how to explain it. These are all holographic ones, but they're really cute. They hang on the wall with a Cinderella and Aurora Christmas ornament that I got from Disney because my favorite princesses. And then this is a pass holder. I always forget her name, this artist, but she makes these adorable creatures. There's three of them. It's a pass holder, so it's, I knew that was gonna happen. So it's elasticated, this, this is her characters. I really want this one, the blue one. This one's cute too, I just don't like green and yellow together, I don't know, but um, yeah. It's really cute. I don't live anywhere where there are trains or buses that work like that. But in case I ever go somewhere or need something like that, I have one. It's adorable. I like pass cases because they're they're like collecting plush, but they're flatter, so they're easier. Like I can display them on the wall. It's really easy. And then this is my computer. It has all the cute stickers on it ever. I'm going to pull my chair back, sit, and I'll show you guys a little bit more. There's nothing under this part of my desk except for some Hello Kitty waters, my phone charger, and my iPad that I also use to edit videos on and make thumbnails. Okay. So this is where I sit. This just holds my phone. I've got some Ralph Breaks the Internet princess figures all over the place. This is a Cinderella that's like those other two figures except her dress has scenes from her movie on it. And when she, when you push her, they move. I just keep it on this scene because I think it's really pretty when she's her dress is being transformed and then she's in it. But yeah, it's got all of them. I love the artwork. I think the artwork is really cute. That's why I bought it. 
know if I can just put it back without ruining it. Okay. This is a Sailor Moon wedding figure that I got when I was getting married. Um, after we got engaged, I got it because I bought anything that I was a fan of that came in a wedding version because I was just so in a wedding spirit. So it's just um, surrounded by some like party birthday curly ribbony things. I put those in my hair sometimes and so I just leave them there because I have no idea where else to put them. And then this is another stress toy. So it's just a little dinosaur. I got him at Target for like a dollar, but his eyes pop out. He's really cute. I have a lot of anxiety, so I have a lot of things to help with that. It's pretty much how my life goes. These just have makeup in them and brushes. These are all my brushes. Most of them are from Lime Crime. They're like the glitter ones I showed you I got for Christmas last year. And then last year for my birthday, my husband bought me this set from Sephora where they were all like stars. They really reminded me of Jim and the Holograms or like Fairy Godmother. So I have those and then, oof, that almost fell. And then I have the mini ones from the Museum of Ice Cream Collection that have the sprinkles in them. Those are the only brushes I own. And then I have one of those silicone sponges to apply liquid foundation with. I have a Beauty Blender one. Um, I hate these so much. I don't ever use it. I just feel bad about throwing it away. So I just leave it in there. <sighs> the environment is one of my main anxiety stressors right now. So it's, it's the thing I live with. This is all just makeup that I use on a daily. Like when I'm going to work, I do very soft, casual makeup because I have to wear it every day. It's better for my skin. So that's what's in these. And then these are extra holders. Uh, when I'm doing my makeup, let me see if I can show you. Whenever I'm doing my makeup, I take this one off, flip it upside down and then put my mirror on it because I have to take my glasses off to do my makeup. I can't see. So I have to put it up to where I'll be able to see it's more eye level when I get really close to it. So that's what I have to do. <laughs> Uh, it's my makeupless face. I just got off work. I took all my makeup off. I'm dressed really cozy. I'm ready for bed. I've had a long day. <laughs> but I like filming these videos and so I wanted to do something fun. So I've got a bunch of stickers. Oh, that was my finger. Sorry guys. Um, around my Mac Apple, I've got a little worm and then these two little um, mice. They came with the banana stickers. I have no idea what characters they are, but I also have my my tag around it in glittery letters. This is Sophie and Hal from Hal's Moving Castle in her two forms and his two forms. I love these stickers. I got those from MechaCon. That's uh, Sashomaru. He is the love of my life when it comes to Nuyasha. Cuddle party, um, otters. Otters are my spirit animal and in Finding Dory, they are the cutest. These are two Pokemon cards that I got in a recent unboxing when I used to work at the store that I used to work at. Um, we would get tips and we would collect tips. And then once we got to a certain amount, we would either all go out like to a bar or to a restaurant or something. Well, with our last batch of tips, we decided to buy a whole big booster box pack thing of Pokemon cards. We split them up between everybody and we all opened them. And so these are two of those, the flying Pikachu and the holographic Mew on the rock. I did have the surfing Pikachu and I traded it for the balloon one, but now I wish I had both of them. Struggles. We've got some Bananas, another little mouse, a little Bambi and some Pusheen Castle and Pusheen in a star. Ralph breaks the internet, love it. Um, these are some you foofies, you foofies. I have no idea how you're supposed to say that. More stickers, just candies, you foofies. The little whales from Sanrio. I think it's from Sanrio. I don't know what they're called. Winnie the Pooh, you foofies. These are Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask. I love anything Tuxedo Mask. It's so hard to find any merch with him. So whenever I do, he's always there. Reptar, a Clefairy Pokemon card from that same thing with Cinderella and Aurora. I have a problem. More Ralphs, they're really cute. And then we have another banana. This is Elizabeth from Pride and Prejudice. I have Mr. Darcy on the other side. She's sticking her tongue out him, at him and he's looking at her like she's crazy. I, I separated them because <laughs> if you've ever seen it or read the book, you know they need to be separated sometimes. Um, more Ufufis and a little bird. I have 
Rapunzel over here. Above her is Draco Malfoy and Spock. He's my favorite. I love Star Trek more than Star Wars. Don't mess with me. I will fight you. These are more just little random ones. Little Winnie the Pooh, Turtle, Rainbow, Little Banania. Mickey and Minnie above my little webcam that I never use. Um, they're my favorite Disney couple. Love them. And then if I move this, we have another Banania, another Winnie the Pooh. Thumper is right there. And then Severus Snape. I love him. He gets covered sometimes. It's okay. We're okay. This is the dark mark. This is the tattoo sketch from when I got my tattoo of the dog mark. I kept it. It's got some little holog uh, holographic glow-in-the-dark stars. And then this is um, a Sanrio character. Her name is... Uh, I can't remember. I'll tell you guys later. I've got more stuff for her. I can't remember what it is. Um, but she's right here because I love her. Oh, Humming Mint. That's her name. This is Humming Mint. She's a little deer. She's so that's my favorite Sanrio character, I mean, honestly. And then these are, this is my um, acrylic keychain collection. It hangs from a little peg right here in the corner. I can't use these as keychains because they'll get ruined and I would cry. And so I just keep them here so I can look at them and enjoy them. So we've got little Ra Alolan Raichu and shiny Alolan Raichu. The lion from Steven Universe. One of them, he's just looking at you like, what? And then the other one, he, I can't tell if he's supposed to be roaring or yawning. Either way, it's adorable. Spirited Away. We've got um, Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is a Severus Snape. Um, Charlie Frog card. So yeah, they're just random. I think I've shown you guys these before in my um, haul from when I went to MechaCon last year. And then here, oh wait, I said I'd go here. Hold on, okay, I said I'd do this really fast. I promise there's nothing. It's nothing special. So this just separates it really in, e in any way you want it to. I'll move it out of the way. So under here, this is where I keep some supplies. These come out here. Let me get down here. Okay. This is gonna be hard to do. I'm gonna hold the camera like this. Okay. These come out, they just slide out. They're just holders. Um, but I keep like glue sticks in there. I mean, hot glue sticks, gl hot glue gun, tape stickers are in here those are all stickers this is a phone case Ooh, that's the empty container that the um, museum of ice cream brushes came in and then right here this is a little crocheted unicorn he guards the light box that turns on the heart right there and then i don't know what is happening it's getting caught on something this pulls out Ooh pinkness everywhere this pulls out this just has paints in it birthday candles party supplies another acrylic keychain that's from when i lived in colorado i don't want to talk about it <laughs> um and then in this box right here this is film so these are cells from the prince of egypt film that was my favorite film when i was a kid let me see if i can show you see so I have, a, I have a whole box of this. This is like pretty much the entire film. Let me pick one. I want a good one. Okay, that's a good one. You can see this one. That's from when one of the, um, when it was raining fire. So I have a whole container of these. I bought them to display them. I just haven't figured out how yet because you need light to shine through them to be able to see what they are. So I'm still working on it. This is an empty glitter, oh, okay. This is an empty glitter frame. I just don't have anything to put in it. It's a winter one, it's got snowflakes. So I just need a winter photo. And then this is a bunch of thank you cards. They've got gummy bears on them. It says, oh, how sweet of you. Um, I bought them as thank you cards for our wedding and then we had a private wedding. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but they're cute. So if I ever need thank you cards, I got them. Okay. Now we'll go over here. 
So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skim over these shelves. This is not anywhere near what I want it to look like. This is all a bunch of stuff that I have that I love, but I can't figure out how to display it or what I want it to look like. So it's all just kind of in here. And then you have seen these before. So I'll just go through and show you. This is that spun sugar candle. I was gonna light it earlier, but I don't feel too good. I don't want all the aroma, but. So these are the keeps that I got from Easter. This is a little toothless from the newest movie and his little baby. I have the light fury right there. Up here, this is what I was talking about with those squishies. So this, these are like stress balls. These things, they're like foam. I have a whole lot of them and this is like a mini squishy. These three are exactly like that. That's what they're here for. That's the squishy I got from Disney. This is a calico critter house that I'm gonna paint pastel because I really want to. They had a Hello Kitty one just like this a couple years ago at Toys R Us. It was 60 bucks, that's why I didn't buy it, but that's what I'm gonna do with this one is paint it pastel. This is a Barbie that I customized when I was getting married. She has blue hair, I had blue hair, she has a dress nowhere near like mine, but kind of like mine, if that makes any sense at all. And then that is a vintage My Little Pony from when I was a kid. This is two little figures from the movie Zootopia. It's Nick and Judy. This is a little golden retreat, golden retreat, words. This is a little German Shepherd that my husband got me when we first got our German Shepherd. He is so cute. She is from the movie Trolls. That's one of my favorite movies ever. This is a balloon bunch. They're suckers, but they're so cute. So they just sit there. This is a print of the Disney castle. It has a bunch of princess uh, signatures around it. When I was doing the Disney college program is when I first got this. It's also when Anna, Anna and Elsa first got released in the parks. I stood in line for four hours with one of my roommates to get this signed. She went with me, it was crazy, it was raining, it was 20 degrees outside, it was insane. And then this is the Aurora doll that I got from my recent trip to Disney. I still haven't gotten a stand for her, so she just kind of leans there. We're doing our best over here. And then down here, this is where um, all of my like Tokyo Mew Mew magical wands are, weapons, whatever you want to call them. I can't figure out how to display them because they don't sit by themselves. So they're all just there for now until I get the full collection and then I'll work out a display. And then I have a bunch of my Sailor Moon figures, some Num Noms, and then those are some Care Bear like blind boxes they had last year. They're really weird looking, but also kind of cute. So they sit there. This is a Pinkie Pie. She's my favorite pony. That is a new doll. I'm customizing her right now and I haven't found an outfit for her yet, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's um she's gonna be a LARP character of mine. I wanted to make a doll of her, so that's what she's gonna be eventually. These are my reptars with my reptar bar, another of the little um, Care Bears, Num Noms, more Sailor Moon, and then one of my um, Tokyo Mew Mew figures. Down here, we have some Sailor Moon glasses, a Chocobo, he's so cute. This is not a Polly Pocket, but it's the Shopkin Polly Pocket versions. Um, I'm gonna start buying vintage Polly Pockets. I decided that today. <laughs> Look out for that. These are Cuposket Sailor Moons. These are random blind box Sailor Moons and tuxedo masks. Tuxedo mask with the mask, without the mask. More num noms, another Care Bear. I told you if it's tuxedo mask, I will buy it. They're really cute. And then back there in those glasses, let me try and, okay, how am I gonna do this? Whew, okay, this is a keepsake glass. So these are notes from my husband. These are a bullet from the first time I shot a gun. Well, the only time I ever shot a gun. It was terrifying, but I have the bullet to prove that I did do it at some point in my life. This is Canadian money from the first time I went to Canada when I was a kid. This is my name tag from when I worked at the Disney store. Your favorite Disney character would go underneath it. At the time it was Wreck-It Ralph. Now it would be different. Even when I was working there, it ended up being different, but can't change it then. This is when I did the college program. Earning The earning my ears tag is still on it. 
Um, I never finished my college program. <laughs> I had a mental breakdown and had to leave. It was really sad. And then movie tickets. This is from when I worked at Target. I keep all my name tags because it just reminds me of where I've been. There's a shell from my second date with my husband, a pearl from my trip to Disney World for the first time without my parents, um, change from the Caribbeans and from Canada, and then that is a, let's see if I can grab it. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with Egypt, hence, you know. Oh, hey, that's that bullet. Oh, I got it, okay. I was obsessed with Egypt. The Prince of Egypt was one of my favorite movies. I did multiple school projects on hieroglyphics. This is a hieroglyphic pendant from when I went to a museum with my dad. Um, he was chaperoning my school field trip. We went to a museum, he bought me this. It's sterling silver, it's just really old and tarnished, um, but it says I love you in, hieroglyph in hieroglyphics. That was back when my dad was in the military and um, he would get deployed a lot, so that was really special to me and I've lost it and found it over the years like a million times and so now I just keep it there and hopefully won't lose it again but it always finds its way back which I love this is a sunshine pillow I got from Target my dad calls me sunshine that's why I have it um this is Vanellope in her car some little Tokyo Mew Mew figures they're all from the same collection they're all from Sega um I bought them all together this is a little coin bank it doesn't have coins in it but it is a draft and it's adorable num nom and then a figure from trolls this is a humming mint collection i have a bunch of humming mint stuff like stationery and little little like pencil bags and stuff so i keep them all there because i haven't been able to use them yet i haven't found anything worth it um more tokyo mimi figures this is from um tinkerbell this is her sister she's my favorite fairy these are what the blind bag um, Care Bears came in. I keep them because they're really cute packaging. That's Lion from Steven Universe. That is a cup. It's a glass mug from Tokyo Disney. Easter a couple years ago, they did the cutest uh, Thumper Miss Bunny collection and I got that. There's a bunch of other stuff I want. I just haven't found it. I just haven't, I found it, but I haven't gotten it yet. And then back there, there's a deco den case in its um, dust bag because I never used it. I got a new phone before I was able to use it. But it has um, Chibi Moon on, I can never remember his name, but it's the guy who turns into a unicorn that's in love with her. And then this one is one that I used all the time. This it was my first ever deco den case. It has a puffball charm on it and little clouds. It's so cute. And then this one has that's pinkie pie's party cart um my melody with a crown that's the crown that i wore to my wedding reception because i had to take my really long veil off this is a pokemon tree house there's pinkie pie ready for a party um we've got a num nong hanging up up there that is a mickey mouse zoom zoom donut shop and then some pokemon and then zoom zooms everywhere these keep falling over. They were stacked just like this. My cat keeps coming in here and destroying everything and I just have not been bothered to put it back. But a bunch of these are my favorites. These are the Yufufis, the Mickey and Minnie. Those are those and these. These are my favorites because they're the Mickey and Minnie where they're brown instead of black. That's my favorite colorway of them. And then this is Aurora as Briar Rose with the three fairies. The three aliens in a rocket ship nick big and little i haven't gotten the big judy yet i really want her um aurora in her blue dress i found one um that's rapunzel and eugene baymax dumbo's mom and then i have the bambi trio the dad the mom and bambi that's a mermaid daisy and a mermaid mini um stitch and angel winnie the pooh dresses a sheep and eeyore dresses a chick for easter they're really cute. This is all, this was all just Mickey and Minnie's, so all of the ones that fell down there. Um, these are the Easter ones. These are birthday ones. They celebrated the New Year's, and then that's a cupcake scented one. I have the chocolate covered strawberry Valentine's Day ones. There are Easter and Halloween ones back there as well. I don't know if they do it anymore, but they used to always make yearly ones. They would dress as birthdays. And the side would have the year like 2016 2017 i bought the last couple years because in the last couple years big things have happened 
to my in my life like I moved I moved states by myself without my family I moved back I met my husband all those things happened so I've, I have those Mickey and Minnie's from those years where big things happen okay we're gonna do a quick overview I'm sorry that this video is gonna be so long I can't seem to ever make them short <laughs> so this is my Barbie and the Nutcracker book um hint I have a I have a video coming up where I just recently bought the Barbie the Nutcracker and the carriage and the horse new inbox from this movie from 2001 to show you guys because I had them when I was a kid but I, I can't find them now and so I rebought them uh yeah when I make that video I'll show you that book but this is a magical girl wand from Precure I think I don't watch it I bought it because this wand is a birthday candle it works sometimes that's a candle it lights up and you can blow it out right there there's a sensor where if you blow into it the candle the flame will extinguish and it makes sounds and does magical girl stuff so I bought it because if I was ever a magical girl that's my that would be my wand a giant birthday candle would definitely be my wand so this is a cute little bunny my husband bought me this is a unicorn I got at MechaCon last year these are two cute little guys these and this these and this these are from the same collection but I won these in a in a crane game at a at a um arcade in Colorado a long time ago so down here I've got my Tokyo Tokyo Mew Mew manga and the Tokyo Mew Mew sequels Tokyo Mew Mew a la mode mangas the two of them and then this is the compact from um I want to say Precure a la mode. It's uh, the food-based one, but it's right. It matches that. That's why I bought it. I don't watch that show, but it that matches that, which is why I bought it. <laughs> um, we've got a bunch of num noms everywhere. This is a Zelf. When I was a kid, I collected trolls. Well, I didn't collect them. I think my sister did or my parents did. I don't know. When I was a kid, I had a bunch of trolls. The trolls that had gems in their tummies. I had their tree house where they lived. I had everything. Zelfs reminded me of those. I collected them whenever I saw them, but they haven't, they don't make them anymore. Or at least not in the US. They don't sell them because they weren't popular, but I can still find them on Amazon sometimes. This is a Polly Pocket Cinderella's Castle. It's got some of the Monster High minis. I absolutely love those. This is the box from those Pokemon cards I was telling you about over on the wall. So if you ever wanted some, this is the box. I got it on eBay. It was a full box. I opened it with my friend and we split it. More num noms. This is a washcloth. This has um, Chibi Moon and the little unicorn guy as a stuffed unicorn and the other side has Sailor Moon on it. Um, this is a Pinkie Pie. She has glitter. Let me see if I can pick her up. She has glitter in her and it just moves around. She's really cute. Pinkie Pie is my favorite because she's always a party. So these are my Sailor Moon manga over here. This is a Moose Toys carousel. I had this exact thing when I was a kid. I don't have it anymore, so I rebought it on eBay a couple years ago. This is another Zelf. This is a vintage My Little Pony from my childhood. This is mine. Um, I don't remember what these are called. <laughs> I randomly bought them at Toys R Us one year. Um, that is another Monster High Mini. That is another squishy. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. Um, these, I don't know what they're called. And someone on my Instagram recently bought a whole bunch of them from like a dollar store. So I need to find out where they got them from because I want more. But they light up. So they they don't do anything, right? They just, they're just normal. But then when you move your hand towards them, they light up. See, I don't even have to touch her. I mean, I know it looks like I'm touching her, but I promise I'm not. You just have to, you just have to block the sensor on the top of her head from light and she'll light up. There we go. Um, she does the same thing. Those are the only two that I have, but I want all of them. It's just hard to find them. I used to get them at Toys R Us, but now Toys R Us is closed. So I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Over here. 
the rest of the Sailor Moon mangas, Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon, another one of the Care Bears um, blind box capsule things, more Num Noms, Sailor Moon's wand, uh, Tsum Tsum Stacks, these are, that's a Easter Winnie the Pooh, he was pastel, and a um, Bambi. This is Puppy Cat. He makes noise. I'm not going to take him out because he's got stuff around him, but he makes puppy cat noises and he's absolutely adorable. I love being puppy cat. Down here, this is another one of my favorite manga collections from when I was younger, like when I was in high school or middle school. It's called The Gentleman's Alliance. Um, I highly recommend it if you can find it. I don't think they sell it anymore, at least not new, but I'm sure you can find it on eBay. Um, it's really good. I definitely recommend it. This is a house for one of these. It's the house that came with them. That's what they live in. This is a Ralph Breaks the Internet Cinderella and her castle. There's confetti everywhere. <laughs> these are more Monster High minis, Little Alien, another Sailor Moon. Um, I can never say their names. Mm, Sumi Go Garashi, something like that is their names, but that's a little blue dinosaur. I want him and his mom. They just, I just saw one on the internet the other day and they're so cute. His mom is like the Loch Ness Monster. Um, he's so cute. Okay. This is um, Guy Glitter from Trolls, the movie. This is the unicorn from um, Despicable Me and a big giant you oofoofy. Um, Winnie the Pooh. When I was younger, Winnie the Pooh was my favorite um, Disney character ever. There was, there's a picture from One Christmas where, I'm pretty, I'm sure I've told this story before, but there's a picture from One Christmas where every present I got under the Christmas tree was wrapped in Winnie the Pooh wrapping paper and everything that I unwrapped was Winnie the Pooh. Something or other. So he holds a special place in my heart. I have a bunch of stuff of him. On, on his head is just a little switch box that turns the lights on and off. That's why there's not a lot in this square because I need to be able to get to that without knocking everything over. This has a bunch more of the Gentleman Alliance books. These are more Monster High minis, more of those little baby animals. I can't remember what their names are. Um, that is the Rapunzel from Ralph Breaks the Internet. This is Pride and Prejudice, the manga. It's great, I love it. This is the Birthday Wishes Care Bear. Of all the Care Bears, he is my favorite. Can you guess why? Birthday! And then this is my favorite Sailor Moon wand. It's the Sa Sailor Moon Kaleidoscope Sword. Um, it's my favorite one, so I have it here. And then, of course, I have that one because you have to have the classic moon rod. Moon stick. Whatever they're calling it now. Um, more Monster High minis. Light Fury that came from the same line as that Night Fury and the little baby. Um, this came from Disney. It's from Avatar World. That's Poppy from Trolls. More little trolls. That is a Monster High Mini that fell over. More Tsum Tsums. I mean, not Tsum Tsums. Um, more Num Noms. That is just a little Pegasus that came from the dollar store. I thought he was really cute. Um, and then that is from Gundam something. When I was younger, I loved this show. I don't watch Gundam anymore. I want to say it was Gundam Seed. I can't, I'm not sure. But when I was younger, it always came on with like, um, what is it called? With... Mm, When I was younger, it always came on with like Dragon Ball Z and um, everything else like that. I'm pretty sure it was Gundam Seed, but don't quote me on that. I'm not positive, but I was in love with it. I watched every episode religiously and then I forgot about it for like 10 years. And then like two years ago, I thought about it again and I went online and they were selling the little things like this, the princess from that movie. Um, or the president's daughter, whatever she was, she had this pink one and I loved it. So I bought one of those. That's the chair that I film in. It's got a bunch of clothes that I'm supposed to be trying on for a um, haul video that I've been procrastinating on. But that's pretty much it. 
party hat on the floor from the first birthday. And yeah, we've pretty much made it. So I'm gonna scoot over. That's my room, that's my cute little office. So I may or may not have totally forgotten to film what's in these things. Okay, so really fast. Top drawer is face stuff. So like little gems, sticky gems, um, all of the glitter that I use on my face, little crystals, party stuff, like um, balloon shaped glitter little baby bows to wear around Christmas time on my face, stickers, that's all that's really in here is just all the glitters. And then a pair of glasses that I'm gonna get prescription lenses put in. And then this one, this is makeup. So this is nail stuff when I'm wearing fake nails, clippers, um, the Crayola nail polish. It's really cute. Uh, false eyelashes, setting powders, some liquid foundations. This is my favorite. This is the Too Faced Born This Way. That's what I wear all the time. Um, this is that glitter spray that I showed you guys in one of my monthly favorites. This is a candy scented perfume, another perfume roller. This is my setting spray. I'm still using this. I love this. I talked about it in a monthly favorites a while ago. I got some samples that come in my Sephora orders that I just haven't tried yet and little razors in case I'm doing my makeup and I see any tiny hairs. Nail glue right there and then some hair glitter I haven't used yet. That's that one. And then the last one, this is a bunch of makeup. So all of my makeup palettes, um, Too Faced, the uh, Sugar Pills, a little Twin Star one, Unicorn one, that's an Irma Decay Rainbow palette. Um, this is the Museum of Ice Cream Highlighter Blush Palette. I've got some highlighters and blushes and just individual parted colors. This is a rainbow highlight. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. Probably not. Okay. There we go. Just a rainbow highlight. Some sugar pills. Um, what are you? Lumi? Loose powder? I'll use this in the corner of my eyes a lot. And then lip products, mascaras, some primers, more primers. So yeah. This is a highlight in a little ice cream container. Yeah, that's all that's in there. Just makeup, face stuff. It's a good place to put it. That's literally all I do in here is film and edit videos and stuff and it's just my happy place. So that's everything guys. I'm sorry this video was so long. We're sitting at 45 minutes, but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.